now I've I've already seen this card. Um, this card is very very good. SP Little Knight, Link Two Dark Warrior Link Effect Monster, sixteen hundred attack, links left and right. Materials two effect monsters. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is Link Summoned using a Fusion, Synchro, XYZ, and or Link Monster as material, you can target a card on the field or in the graveyard, banish it. Also, your monsters cannot attack directly this turn. When your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can target two face-up monsters on the field, including at least one monster you control, banish both until the end phase. This card is... Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think this card is, um, like, badly designed. I actually am a fan of the design of this card, but this card is incredibly strong. Um, so, I think this is going to be the best IP Masquerina target once it releases. Straight up, I think that is the best IP Masquerina target. I think it is better than Nightmare Unicorn by a long shot. Because you don't have to discard for it. Um, and then, so, basically what you are trying to do with this is you will, um, you will summon it as, remo as spot removal, right? Either going first or second. It's significantly harder to do going second because it does require you to have a Fusion, Synchro, XYZ, or Link to gain that effect. Which, that is why I think it's a little bit more balanced. If it was... Just generically, you summon it with two effect monsters and you can banish. I think then it would be way too powerful, especially going second. Um, however, because it has that restriction that you need to get somehow need to start playing and summoning from your extra deck before you can do it, I think that makes it a little bit more balanced. Uh, link ones are a thing, but not every deck has access to them. I mean, yes, link ones are available to some decks, not every deck though. Um, Still, you get spot removal. Runic is another deck that can make it really easily going second. This card is phenomenal in Runics because it also um, it also tags out, so it leaves the extra monster zone to make room for your Runics again. It's really good. Um, but yeah, in general, you get spot removal when you summon it. You get spot removal when you summon it, and then. Beyond that, it provides more disruption, right? It, 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 pro it provides more disruptive capabilities where it's like, you know, uh, as soon as you start playing, I just banish one of your monsters until the end phase, and I get to do that every turn, right? Because you just target itself and the monster, they both hop out, they both return, and then it still is there, right? It's like... It, it's just... This card is phenomenal. This card is really, really strong... Um, both in the grind game and also in like very short games because it's like um, it's 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 not just good in grind games where it has recurring value over time, but it's also really good in very short games because it gives you two forms of interruption off of one extra egg monster, which is yeah very very strong. Um, yeah, SP Little Knight going to be your go-to IP Mascarena target, I think, after uh, Age of Overlord. Period. Straight up. Um, and you can't even, like, when you go second and you start playing into boards, right? Let's say your opponent has Effect Veil or Impermanence. You can't stop this. You're not stopping this. You summon this, activate Effect, uh, or Barone, you know? You summon this, activate Effect, your opponent responds, you just chain this. Right? And you hop out. Barone will still negate the first effect, but um, you still save your your IP, uh, your your SP. Yeah, you still get to save it. And then in the case of Imperm or Valor or whatever else, you you straight up just can't do it. Right, you straight up cannot prevent this from from banishing because if you Imperm or, or effect Valor it, they will just hop in and out. Right. Uh, so yeah, this this card is beyond phenomenal. The best card we've read today. <laughs> And honestly, one of the best cards I've... Probably the best card from Age of Overlord that I've seen yet. I don't remember every single thing we've looked at, but I'm pretty sure this is the best card from Age of Overlord that I've seen. Like, this has... This has extra deck staple vibes to the level of Nightmares or Baron or whatever, right? Like, this, this is the type of extra deck staple level this card has, which has been a while. 
right? It has been a while that we've gotten a card like that. That is such an extra deck staple right on release, uh, like straight up. So yeah, this card is very, very good. 